Welcome to Stickbacker's YouTube channel, I'm Steve. Today I've got a brand new product from Ciro 3D, right back there. You guys know Ciro 3D. If you've watched my channel in the past, you know I've done a ton of videos on the Ciro 3D products. Always been excellent products, but they've got a new bag and it is the El Sandoval bag. If you don't know who that is, that's Adam Sandoval. He was in on the design on this. This guy has traveled all over the United States. And if anybody out there would be qualified on making a bag that incorporates just about every single thing you need, it's going to be Adam's. So I want to preface this video real quick before I get into it and you're watching it and you're like, man, this dude's like super excited about this bag. And it's because I am. Uh, for me to do a review and get, in, uh, get a bag like this in front of the camera so you can see it and then point out all the important things that's on this bag, that excites me. I'm kind of a gear nerd. I always have been. I'm going to tell you something right now. I have had my fair share of tactical style bags. Now this bag is made for a motorcycle sold by Ciro Motorcycle Company. It's made to go on your motorcycle, ATV, side by side, whatever. It's made for that, but if you step back and look at it, let's not kid ourselves. That is a waterproof tactical bag. Now I took about four days before I decided to shoot this video to get this in front of you because this is something I'm kind of passionate about. Kind of really didn't have any doubt because it's Ciro product. I, but I, I really didn't have any idea the amount of R&D that they put into this bag until I got my hands on it. I set it on that table and I went through it. Every chance I got, I was over here and I was messing with this bag. And at the end of the day, let me tell you something. This bag right here, probably right at the very top of the tactical style bags that I've ever owned. No kidding. Not just because it's Ciro 3D. This is an awesome bag. And I'm gonna get over here on this table and I'm gonna show you why. And so this is clearly not what the bag looks like when you get it out of the box. It's a pretty flat bag. So even if you don't have this packed, you can still store this on your bike, especially if you have a touring model bike. And this isn't just made for touring model motorcycles. So we'll just start with the material itself. This is a two piece design. It's kind of like a two layer system. You've got a waterproof nylon membrane on the inside, and then you have the outside, which is the ballistic nylon material. Now, before I got the bag, I was a little skeptical about it just because I've dealt with a lot of nylon stuff in the past. And a lot of the nylon stuff that you get can be kind of rough. You obviously want this to be tough so it can take a lot of wear and tear. Like I said, this isn't just for touring motorcycles. You could do adventure motorcycling. You'd put this on the back of a four-wheeler, go hunting with it. You can do whatever you want to do with this thing. But if you want that tough nylon exterior material, usually you that's what you get. You get kind of a tough material. So it's going to be rough on your seats, sitting back there vibrating. It's going to be rough on your paint. If you got it sitting kind of touching your fender, if it's touching the tour pack, anything like that. But I was completely surprised when I pulled it out of the bag that how soft this is not soft to the point where it's going to tear up but soft softer than most nylon tactical rough and tough bags that you would buy so like I said this is a waterproof bag even though you're looking at a ballistic nylon outer shell it has a waterproof membrane on the inside and it's two-piece that may seem kind of odd to some people that it's got a, a waterproof shell on the inside and then a nylon on the outside why not just incorporate it and I'll tell you why these type of bags that have a waterproof membrane on the inside you've been out and you've been in the field or you've been mudding you've been doing whatever it's got wet it's got nasty this is going to help this dry out and be way easier to clean when you can pull that inner shell out put it off to the side that that waterproof shell you can wipe that down dry it down you're good then you can hang this up and let this air out air doesn't flow through it very well when you've got that waterproof membrane on the inside touching the inside of that material so all of the other intricate details on this bag we're going to go through like i said right here you got a grab handle right here you got a grab handle right here you got a grab handle so no matter where this thing is laying on the ground or however it's mounted on your bike you got a couple three different places that you can grab this carry it go do whatever you need to do so one thing i noticed right off the bat the multiple tie down points that are on this you got three on each side on the back if you flip it around you got three more on the front so you got them up here down the sides all the way down so multiple tie down points on this bag and i don't have the straps but they have them on the website so if you're interested you can pick up i think four more straps for like 20 bucks and you can actually tie that down with the straps that go with this bag other than that you can use whatever method that you've been using to tie down your bags right here on the front you've got three buckles we open this up of course waterproof right here but this when you close it up 
this is not waterproof okay so don't stick a laptop in here and then ride down the road and think that this is waterproof it's clearly not and once you get this open you've got the net pockets on both sides so you can see what's in there easy access stuff sunscreen chapstick cell phone whatever but just remember this area is not waterproof only the inside of the bag is waterproof so you can see right here when you pull this together right you've got a pretty big gap in here to put whatever you want you want to put easy access stuff rain gear would be a number one thing i could think of to put right here if you're out riding you got your bag back here it starts raining it's right there you don't have to open up the end of the bag get your rain gear out and search for it it's right there up here on the front you got another zipper right here for more easy access stuff maybe you want to slip your cell phone in there so it's easier to get to whatever you want to put in there so i'll flip this over on the back side right here it does have one more or large zipper right here and i'll be honest with you this is probably one of the coolest things i've seen on a bag that's like this um this is also a backpack well steve where's the backpack straps well they're right here inside the zipper you know what's cool about that when i'm not using it as a backpack i put those backpack straps right back in the bag this edge lining here i zip it up and they're gone I don't have to worry about these two big goofy straps with buckles on them back there on the back of my bike flopping all over the wind smacking the hell out of my paint right so that is a big plus i've yet to see any kind of bag like this that has hidden backpack straps but super easy to get to also even when you got it packed as tight as i've got this so i've got these out now i pulled them out we're going to bring these over we're going to come down here got a heavy duty plastic d-ring hook slot right here with a spring clip on it you're going to go right here to this bottom strap right you've taken it off your bike you're ready to go i'll show you this too it's even got a chest strap what's super important about a chest strap is the size of this bag when you have a bag that's this big that you can pack so much stuff in you can get these heavy really quick and if you're just packing it with the shoulder straps that chest strap makes a huge difference let's say you park your bike and you've got other stuff that you need to carry and this thing is super heavy you throw this on your back put the chest strap on and it takes a lot of that weight off your shoulders and your back and also the shoulder straps are not just the goofy straight shoulder straps they're actually curved they go out and they're going to tuck around your arm the straight ones tend to chew into your inside of your arm right here so one more cool thing i want to show you on the chest strap is this part right here this moves up and down right so it's going to fit multiple size people when you put something on your shoulders and you have a chest strap obviously this chest strap is going to fall out different on my wife than it's going to fall out on me right so making this completely adjustable once you cinch it down it's going to stay where it needs to be also on the inside of these straps you do have the netting right here in the foam so they're super soft but that also helps it breathe and it's also going to help it dry out faster if you get it wet another thing too is your slack has these bands on there right so that keeps a lot of these the excess strap from flopping around back there while you're riding so super important when you're out in the wind like i got this thing weighted down pretty heavy you're going to grab these two straps right here we're going to cinch it down we're going to make sure to get a bunch of that weight up on our shoulders we don't want a ton of it down on our lower back we're going to find our chest strap we're going to get it locked in it was like i said with a bag this size you can ultimately put a ton of weight in there and if you have to travel any distance after you get off your bike this right here is going to make a huge difference plus look freeze up your hands and carry more stuff so the r d that went into this bag ultimately at the end of the day it's zero 3d they wanted a great motorcycle bag that you can pack around it's going to be tough it's going to be watertight it's going to last you a long time that was the whole end goal of this bag i can tell by everything that they've done to it right but they've added one more thing that you just normally don't see on quote motorcycle atv whatever bags right so right here on the side of the bag right here at the bottom right here at the top you've got a molly system or pal some of you may know it as pals but it's commonly known as molly molly stands for module or lightweight load bearing equipment and pals is pouch attachment ladder system so either way it does the same thing it's a series of one inch straps on the outside here that is super tough nylon and it allows you to attach things to this bag i'm going to show you a molly pouch that we carry on our bag all the time maybe you've seen this video in the past on our youtube channel it's a very popular video and this is how to make a tool bag for your motorcycle this tactical molly bag right here can be used for a million things i probably got 15 20 pounds of tools in this thing i've had it in there for 
three or four years, five years, I've made two or three of these. I got one in each bike. I've got one in my truck. This thing has came in handy. It's been thrown on the ground. It's been thrown on the side of the highway. It's been thrown in different bikes. It's been thrown everywhere. That's why it's important to have tough nylon stuff. It's going to last you forever. If you look on the back side of this pouch, one inch straps right you've got molly on the bottom of this bag if you want to attach more stuff to this bag so this is the same system that you're seeing right here on the side of this bag this bag this style bag like this mounts on there like that and you can put a million different things in this and you can get two one for the top one for the bottom it could be anything tool bag kit like this could be a first aid kit whatever you want the amount of things out there that they've turned into a molly system or will attach to a molly system will blow your mind it, it's pretty well unlimited things that you can get to put on the side of this bag so that's pretty well everything on the outside of the bag let's get to the inside and look at it so one thing i want you to notice real quick you got the large opening on this end too right mm, guess what it's on this end too you ever seen a bag like that that opens from both ends so we've got these large nylon buckles again you've got one that goes across the middle now i've already had that one undone look here that one opens on the end too there is a king size blanket in here and a king size comforter in here that's how big this bag is and i had room to put more stuff but i'm going to pull this blanket out if i can get it out i'm going to grab this handle i'm going to pull this thing out just to give you an idea of how big this bag is these are just old blankets that we keep out here full king size blanket on that end and we got this big king size like comforter kind of thing on this end so like i said before this is a two-piece bag we got the inner liner and the outer liner right it's velcroed right here on both sides we got it here and then also on this side too so you don't have to worry about this separating while you're jamming stuff in here let me tell you something let me give you a little tip here too while i'm doing this if you want to learn how to pack a bag you're on a motorcycle so if you want to learn how to pack a bag for a motorcycle let's just say you got this one bag and that's going to go you, everything you got's got to fit in here you would be amazed at what you can fit in here do yourself a favor get on youtube and just search ranger roll how to do a ranger roll if you can learn how to pack like the military packs like we were taught in basic training how to roll our socks roll our t-shirts roll our shorts roll our pants all that stuff you learn how to do that super easy to do we were 18 years old and dumb as shit and we learned how to do it so super easy to do and you would be amazed at the pile of crap standing next to me that i could pack in a bag this size or even smaller so do yourself a favor you're going on a trip learn how to do a ranger roll i'm going to pull this one out so you can see two piece liner this is what we're talking about when we talk about separating it cleaning it drying it right so if you got this thing soaking wet and muddy maybe even out mudding on four or side by sides or whatever this thing's gross now having a double open ended like this is kind of important especially when you have everything that you're taking in one bag if i got all my essentials on this end of the bag this is the top of the bag and i got all my pants and my clothes down here and i get soaking wet on my ride when i get pulled over guess what i got to take all this crap out just to get a pair of pants out of the bottom not anymore now i'm going to start by rolling the bottom first and i'm going to grab this big comforter just to kind of show you how much stuff we can put in here i mean you i'm going to grab this big let's say this is my clothes you know I want my clothes on the bottom my essentials on top however you want to do it we're going to start by putting that in the bottom before we roll it and it makes it a lot easier to roll by having stuff in it right so this is our front we're going to flip it over we're gonna roll this to the back. We're gonna even this up just like this. We're gonna roll it. We're gonna give it at least two good rolls. We got this strap here on the side. It's gonna come up. It's gonna buckle there. Pull that tight. Make sure this side stays rolled. Grab our buckle on this side. Pull it up. Pull it tight. Pull the one over in the middle. Now, once you get that bottom kind of flattened out, now you have a nice bag. Go ahead and pack stuff in. 
and you don't have to pack the bag all the way full i'm actually going to leave that one out because you already saw how full i had it and it was closed off on both ends and listen it doesn't matter how you decide to put this on your bike whether you're riding solo and you got a back seat and you want to strap it off here if you want to lay it down strap it off this way if you do it like this make sure to mine your straps make sure your straps aren't back here just sitting here tail whipping if you want to you can put it on the back back here if you want if you've got a rack like this on the back of your backrest you can put it on back there if you have a tour pack with a rack on top guess what boom right on top that's it it's that easy so i found myself while shooting this video getting a little, a little bit winded trying to tell you everything about this bag because there's so much stuff going on with this bag i wanted to make sure i got it on camera got it up close showed you what it's for and why it's important the r d department on this bag s03d did not miss with this bag so what makes it even better is it was designed by a motorcycle company and a good one at that zero 3d made this so props to you guys over there because this is an awesome bag clearly made for traveling on motorcycles and stuff like that but hell even if you don't own a motorcycle and you want a cool bag check this one out so i'll put a link down in the description down below take you straight over to this bag you can check it out over there and purchase one if you want it so if you have any questions on this definitely leave in the comment section down below i think i've studied this thing for four days straight and i can probably pretty well help you on any questions that you might have with this bag so i hope this video helped you if it did don't forget to hit that like and subscribe it keeps us coming out here and making these videos for you don't forget to tell your friends about us i'm gonna get out here get myself back to work i hope to see you in the next video but until then as always be safe keep your knees in the breeze hey thanks for stopping by and checking out our videos today if you like what you see make sure you hit that like button hit the little subscribe button popping up over here if you want to check out more of our content i've got two videos right here that'll get you started not really gonna say anything else just click one of those videos and take you to another video